All right, this is the dark tip I have been waiting for and yes. dreading at the same time. How secure is my Windows password? Your Windows password is not very secure, especially if they have physical access to the machine. Okay. That's, that's the most important thing to know. Let me show you, let me give you a little background on Windows passwords. Take a look at this right here. I've launched the command shell, and this is your Windows System 32 config directory. Okay. This is where Windows passwords are stored. They're stored right inside here. If we do a DIR, you're going to see a file here called the SAM. That SAM file stores all of your encrypted, Windows passwords are actually stored as encrypted hash, hash marks within right. the SAM file. Right. Right. So that file is the one that you need to protect, or in case of cracking it, you would need to get the, that, the hashes from that SAM file. So what you're going to do is, let's say you're locked out of your machine. You don't have access to it. Right. First step is you're going to do, is you're going to fire up a copy of this program here. Let me just tab over here. This is called NT Password. We recommended this before on the show. Is this, this free or is this, this one of those expensive free. ones? Okay. No, it's completely free. It's a Linux bootable CD. You oh, burn yeah, it this is just like one. an ISO. Yeah, yeah. And all you have to do so is... So you boot into the CD. You boot into the CD, and I'll go through the options here really quick. You select the directory where they're stored. There it shows that there's the SAM file. You, cl you click OK to uh, crack the SAM. You say edit the password. Choose one here. Hit OK. Say which account do you want to edit? Well, the administrator account is 01F4. I'm going to hit enter here. It's going to say, would you like to do the administrator account? We'll say yes. Hit enter, and now it's going to ask us, look at the bottom there, it says type in, right where the blinking arrow, type enter a new password. Okay. So what this is doing is this is doing something called uh, password hash insertion. So it's not actually decrypting the password. No, it's not. It's, it's creating, replacing it. Right. It creates a new hash and puts it right into that SAM file. Right. Then when you reboot your computer, you just type in the password and it lets you right in. So if you're running XP, XP Home, NT, Windows 2000, this is a way to change the password without using the old one. Exactly, and you boot right from the CD and that's all there is to it. Now the only problem with this is that if you have anything that is encrypted with the Windows encrypted file system or EFS, it uses that original password to help uh, encrypt the files so you won't have access to that stuff. Okay, so, so this, doesn't de this doesn't break the, the encryption. Right, so right. anything that's encrypted you're going to lose. So the important thing to do is to use one of these programs to get that information back. So let's go over here. So these are, these are programs that will actually crack, crack the password. Correct, okay. this is cracking. This I booted into Nopix STD that is running a program called Linux NTFS. By default, that's running. By the way, this was the, uh, this was the bootable CD version of Linux we were talking about. We were about talking about, yeah. exactly. So you can see here, I just put that CD in, and then here is the Windows System 32 config directory again, and here's those files. Let's see here. Actually, I'm not in that. Uh, I have it down here. Here's the Windows System 32 config directory. There's and the SAM file. Here's the SAM file right there. All we're going to do is take that file and copy that SAM file to like a little USB thumb drive. Uh, okay. We'll take that, that file, and also you want to get one other file called the system file. You copy those both to a USB thumb drive, okay. and then you take those back to a, a running a, a Windows box that's running. So you could probably put it on a floppy too. No, they're too big for a floppy. Too big for a okay. floppy. So it's a zip disk or a, or a, or a USB drive. Exactly. Right. So now we're going to go back to our original Windows box. And now, assuming that we already have those on a nice little USB thumb drive, we're going to uh, fire up a program called SAM Inside. Now, what SAM Inside is going to do is it's going to go inside that SAM file and extract all the hashes. You can see the hashes off here to the right. This is actually what a, a Windows hash so looks like. So why did like. you use Nopix? Is that because you can't copy the SAM file in any other way? Well, there's no way to get into NTFS because NTFS, you can't just boot from a DOS boot disk to get I to that see. file. Okay. And Nopix runs, reads those files. Runs, it runs an application that is built in called Linux NTFS. Got it. That allows so you, you to read. you can read the NTFS partitions. Exactly. Right. Okay. So here's the hashes right here. And once you have the hashes, you can just dump those out. Open up a program. This one here is called Loftcrack. We've talked about this in the past. or Actually, it's now called LC4. And you run uh, a brute force and dictionary attack against those hash marks. Now, what's a brute force attack? A brute force is basically, well, the first thing it does is it looks for common words that are used in a dictionary. It has a nice little size dictionary built in. You so it just, compare, it just tries every password in the dictionary, basically. Right. Okay. Now, it's not attempting to crack the hash, but match the hash. Got it's it. generating hashes to so try and match So it knows how the hash is done. Exactly. So it tries to match the hash. If you can't do that through the dictionary, if you're not using a word, like your password is not like just like pigeon or something which, that would be found in a dictionary. Which is why it should never be a dictionary word. Exactly, because it's really easy to crack. You do that in seconds. Then okay. it's going to go to the brute force. And brute force is just nothing but random characters. It's going to use random numbers and letters. But it tries millions of these every second with a yeah. fast processor. So that's why a long password with a random sequence of letters, numbers, and punctuation, mm -hmm. and uppercase and lowercase, is going to be much harder to crack. Exactly. And it also a password that there's two different types of hashes, LM hashes and N T hashes. LM hashes are called land manager hashes. Those were nasty. They, those, you couldn't, those were terrible. You could, they're terrible because they were all uppercase those, yes. and they were treated as two seven character passwords yeah. so they were really easy to break. Right. So, but the sad thing is Windows still stores passwords as LM hashes for authenticating with old machines like 95, 98. Right. 
So the best thing to do is there's a registry, a registry edit that you can do that will eliminate all the LM hashes. And I actually have that in the article that I'm so putting So that will there. help you security that right away. That will help you security right away. You want to do it because you only want to store these as the yeah. NT hashes. Yeah, you want the upper lower case and you want right. long. And, yeah. So that, this is the other way to actually break it. Now once you have, the, the final password will be displayed on the screen once it has cracked it. And then you can log in and get all those encrypted files that you had. So two different methods of getting your password, either password hash insertion, which is resetting the password, or cracking the password so that you can get to your original encrypted documents. This may not, there's no guarantee this will work. This could take a long time. It could take a long time, depending on, especially if you're not storing LM hashes, if it's just right. NT hashes. And you use good passwords. Yeah. So if you want to crack into your system, use lousy passwords and LM hashes. Yeah. And if you don't want someone else to crack into your system, NT hashes. NT hashes and, for sure. and good passwords. If you want to download any of these tools or get Kevin's tips for securing your Windows password, because that's probably what you want to do right about now, check out his article at thescreensavers.com. So much information. That's why I had to write a nice no, decent good. article. We've wanted this for a long time. This is kind of everything you need to know. Yeah, this, every great. time we've been like, here's how to crack it. Well, this is a little background. This is a little for that. bit more, yeah. yeah.